So, another live service game and super quick and not just any live service game, one from Sony. It's really concerning that the companies, the publishers are making these amount of games and I read that this one specifically took eight years for the team to make and in just two months it's, the servers are shutting down like wow that is nuts this is the playstation blog concord fans we've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of concord on playstation 5 and pc and want to thank everyone blah 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 by the way this I've read that this sold only 25k copies, so these Concord fans, these are the 25k people, alright? However, while many qualities of the experience resonated with players, we, are also recognize, we also recognize that other aspects of the game had our initial launch, and our initial launch, I cannot speak, didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, this time we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6th, so in two days, and explore options including those that will be better reach our players. While we determine the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately and we will begin to offer a full refund for gamers who have purchased the game PS5 and PC. We purchased the game for PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, a refund will be issued back to your original payment method. So, this game, I'm looking at other sites if they display the sales or anything. Oh yeah, here it says, it conquered launch as a $40 game after eight years of development and went up against many free-to-play alternatives like Overwatch and Valorant. Competitive shooters and ultimately failed to compete as a paid game, especially with the unique selling point. Firewalk Studios mentions of options that will better reach our players and the refund make it seem like Conquer, Concord. I, I feel like I'm saying Conquer. It's just I'm trying to read fast. Concord. I, I, I should take it easy there. If it does turn, if it does return, we'll move to free to play model. Now these, this is what people are expecting, just to compete with Overwatch, Valorant, and many other live service games. And IGN, it basically says the same thing. PlayStation blog. Uh, yeah. Oh, here's the sales. Its launch was nothing short of disastrous, with, with an a analyst telling IGN it has likely sold as few as 25k units. Yeah, and the player base was around this 12k. Oh, this is Suicide Squad. Oh, that's another one I heard it really, really was disastrous but wow that is upsetting more on the devs who spend a lot of time making this game than the publishers the higher-ups themselves and the reason I'm making this video is simply because game devs no this is not really game devs game publishers we are very tired of live service games. Conquered seemed like it had potential. When I saw the trailer, I was very interested in it. But when I saw that it was a PvP team game, like how Overwatch is and Valorant is, I was immediately turned off. I thought we would get like a single player game co-op experience shooter 
like a good campaign with these interesting characters and if it was that you've sold me already but it's seeing that's a live service game it's just an immediate turn off and it's a market that's so oversaturated like i get it it brings a lot of money it brings them quick i get it but also that's also i feel like that is ruining the industry because we see gotcha games like uh what's this game not star rail uh, but that's also a gotcha game uh genshin impact withering with you even the one i like zenla zone triple z those are just games that show you that hey there's some content here but if you want more you gotta pay a little more than what's an actual game which is 60 70 dollars and whatnot and i get it gotcha games don't operate the same way as fortnite and valorant and overwatch but they show you these pretty skins and even pokemon unite a mobile i like they show you these pretty skins and when you're about to pay them get these gems these the the, the currency of the game you realize it's either 30 or 40 dollars for one skin and i get it well you should treat yourself every now and then but we have so many live service games so many gacha games so many free to play games that just mostly offer skin that trying to compete with the mobile market and i feel like the console and pc side where they just i don't know like that's a market that should be separated in my opinion at least some games but i've seen a lot of game publishers just try uh, focusing so much on doing live service games that games that would have potential it, it just we are are turned off by it. it and it demonstrates on the sales it's just not it's not what we want people we've been having live service games for a while now and that's true and they have their place in the gaming industry for sure but is this more for specifically with the game devs who make a lot of console games like bandai namco square enix uh nintendo um other companies and i'm not mentioning and they have their own mobile games that's great their own live service games but they're separate they don't invest so much money and time in years on one live service game when there's so many others that people already enjoy playing if you want to grab that type of market it shouldn't be so cost heavy it shouldn't i don't know it's just my point of view because i really feel like conquered would have been a great game if it wasn't live service. If it was a single player co-op experience with your friends, like say a beat em up game, those who play beat em ups like Streets of Rage or TMNT, let's say single player and also co-op experience with your friends. Imagine if a shooter was like that. That'd be so much fun and it doesn't have to be sharing the same screen even though it hasn't been done for a while but thanks to nintendo switch that's possible imagine a experience a shooter experience like metal slugs where many just are playing the same game in the same room and just having fun together and that can be online as well and Voice chat can be dependable because with randoms, then nah. Like, I've seen so many videos where a lot of these gamers are just so disrespectful and they think they are untouchable. And then they, they get recorded, their account uh, banned or whatnot. 
I feel like a voice chat should be like friends only. But I hope I'm making it clear for y'all that not everything should be live service and some things can be really cool if it was a single player, a co-op, online co-op experience. Having both, like local and online co-op, would be good. And I feel like that's not touched anymore. That's only on retro games, indie games that do that. But that's just me. I'm just a I'm sorry. I'm just a random guy on the internet who just loves the video games. So it's also a observes a lot of stuff in the gaming industry that just feels like this happened because this isn't that and just I'm taking a guess of what I've read and what's happened but yeah I really feel for the counter devs eight years hard work sweat tears and the game only lasted for two months Ouch. If the gaming industry wasn't in a bad spot now, it's just this keeps getting worse. We're in a keep sliding down and if we made games that were it didn't cost much, if you didn't focus so much on making triple A, if it's just making a one A single A double A game that you would got you guys would be off it so much more so much more instead of trying to compete with what already is winning like for example when the marvel cinematic universe was happening dc wanted to jump in they tried to make their cinematic universe as well and how did that turn out exactly yeah um i'm gonna stop rambling at this point because the the point has been made, hopefully. Again, the Concord Debs, I hope you guys are well financially or have some backups for financial stuff. And if it does end up being another live service game, free to play game, I hope you get your money's worth because this sucks. And again, publishers don't focus so much on live service games. That market is so versaturated right now. Look at indies and what they're doing. And instead of just buying them up, just take a dev team that you guys already own and make a single A, double A game that isn't so high budget and looks appealing, unique. And who knows? Oh, you get so much more profit over that. But yeah. Hope you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching. And see you on the next video. Bye.